Okay, guys, welcome uh, to this video. I'm going to try to add sound to an SFML project. The first thing I have to do is include the library SFML slash audio.hpp. That's good. Make sure that runs. Make sure you got no errors. Perfect. I got my green circle. Um, the second thing you need to do is go to project and you need to go to build options and under the linker settings by default I have not added sfml-audio-d. The reason you have to do that is so that it knows where all the audio files are. By default I just didn't add it when I created the project wizard there. Okay so if you run that you should have nothing there and now you can start accessing the sound stuff. The first type of sound is called a sound buffer. Okay. I'm gonna make an S like that. I'm going to go S dot load from file and make sure you have a file. I'm gonna make sure right now that I have a file that can play a quick sound. Here's my project folder. I have a sound called rings that I wanna play. By the way, you can only play OGGs, FLACs, waves, something else, you can look that up on the on the website there, on SFML's website. Notice I have file name extensions clicked so that I can see the file name extension because I have to type it exactly. And I know this is rings.ogg. So I'm going to go rings.ogg. Run it, make sure I don't get an error. No error up here. What if I spell rings.ogg wrong? Will I get an error? Yes, I do. Okay. Now I'm going to make a sound variable. Call it my sound. This is like my texture. Okay. And this is like my sprite. So I'm just going to go my sound dot set buffer. There we go, it works. And I'll write S there. That's all I need to do. I'm gonna run that, make sure it works. It does. Now if I ever wanna play that sound, I just, somewhere in my loop, if I, pl if I just go s.play or, what are the commands here, s.what? Do I want there a play? Oh no, I gotta go my sound, right? My sound is the one I wanna. My sound dot play. I can set the volume, I can set the pitch, I can get a loop, I can sit play. Problem is this will try to play the sound 60 times a second, so it's just gonna like rattle and go <laughs> or not even play at all because it gets kind of stuck. So um, what I wanna do is make a little if statement here that says <coughs> Just something simple for now, but you'll obviously, I'm just gonna check if the keyboard, if the space bar was pressed on the keyboard. And this can play a quick sound for you. Keyboard colon colon space bar, there you go. That'll be able to play a quick sound for you. Boom. If I press the space, my sound dot play. Oh, forgot a bracket there, boom, boom. There you go. I press the space bar and it plays my ring. Got it. Okay. That's how you play quick sounds. If you want to play music in the background, you do that before the loop. You write music uh, and then you call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine BGM for background music. BGM dot load from file, maybe. Is there a dot load? dot open from file, sure. Now, because everyone's gonna have typos and not know how to type in the name of a file into SML, I'm gonna zoom in and show you that mine is called bgmusic.ogg. That's what it's called. Okay, so I'm gonna write bgmusic.ogg. That's the name of my music file. It's right beside my main dot cpp music dot ogg. 
run that, and then I could play it before the loop, and it'll just play it along in the background. Dot play, there you go. Okay, so you can play music before the loop, sound inside of the loop. There you go. Leave a comment if you know the song this is. And if you know the name of the swordfish that is in this song, okay? Leave a comment, thanks. And that's how you get sound. Thank you for listening to my video. Good night and good luck.